Hi guys, it's welcome you guys all back to my channel and today I'm here with another Owl Box Owl Crate unboxing. So this came while I was in Chicago. So what? This is the July box. So I've already opened it. Well, I've already unzipped it, but we're gonna see what's in it together. Okay. So I think the what's the theme? So this is the this is the card, and the theme is tournaments and trials. So this is the spoiler card that we're gonna leave out, and I am gonna pick up the first thing I see, which is this box. I think this is the mug that they pretty much leaked in the spoiler card. So the box is actually really cute. I just remember that this is supposed to be a Harry Potter inspired mug and the box has got like the houses on it and it says, What's, where's the fun without a bit of risk? Try your luck at the wizarding tournament. Start the day by sipping your favorite beverage. But, yeah, by sipping your favorite beverage in your mug to help you prepare for the challenging task ahead, which house will come out on top? Designed with love by artist Kara Kozik. Okay, I wanted to shout the artist out because, you know, a lot of people do a lot of good work and don't get credit. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I'm ready. Okay. Just, I don't want to see it yet. Oh, okay. So this is definitely from book four. So wait, let me get my face to adjust. So it's got, it starts off with the first wizarding challenge and then you see, what is it? It's Hogwarts and then the horse carriage from Boba, Bo Baxton, Dirt, Dirtstrom, I can never say that name, Dirtstrom's uh, freaking ship, the maze, the crowd of people cheering. This is actually really well done. I don't think I ever seen art like that on a mug. I digs, I digs. That's cute too. Um, so I like it. It's just not what I was expecting. But then I remember it's like tournaments and trials is the theme. So they would it would make sense to do book four. The next thing is this, which it looks like a coin purse. Trying to collect all garbage to make cleanup easier. Yeah, it's a coin purse. So um it says May the odds be ever in your favor. So obviously this is a Hunger Games quote and it's just got arrows on the back. So I guess that's supposed to represent Katniss. It's okay. It's a little pouch. It has got a line inside. I know this is going to sound weird, but when I do long distance traveling, I like to carry the coins in a separate pouch than the dollars because in a lot of other countries, like, you know, you don't actually get coins until you hit like the $10 mark of that currency. So I like that. So this is obviously going into my travel bin of all my other pouches and stuff I use for travel. Next thing I'm grabbing is this thing. No idea what it is, but all for reusable packaging. Whoa. Okay, so this is a gigantic puzzle. Only thing is, it doesn't show you what the picture is supposed to look like. So, I have no freaking idea. I have no clue what this picture is even supposed to look like. So, I have no idea where I would even start. But if I do finish the puzzle, if I do have time to finish the puzzle before this video goes out, I'll include a picture. If not, just know I ain't got to it yet. But I'm intrigued. Like, there's no information. It's just, it's just this. And all it says on the front is Alcrate, and then it's just this. So we're definitely going to need a spoiler card information for that, but I won't do that until the end. Next thing is, looks like a deck of cards, and it's the Essentak, the Element Games. Inspired by a Gathering of Shadows by V. Swab, designed with love by Alcrate and Michelle Gray. So I guess this is just a deck of nerd cards. I Again... V.E. Swab is on my list to, to read to see if I actually like her. So I've never read anything from her. But well, I don't mind having another deck of cards. I have an FSU deck. And I would love to get like a Harry Potter one. Come on. 
I don't want to rip the case. So this is what the case looks like because it might get ripped me trying to open it. I just want to see if there's anything different. Why will you not open? There we go. Woo. Okay, so the first thing is you open it and they have straight edges, which is wow. These this deck of cards is nice. So obviously this deck of cards is fancy. Oh, there are characters on okay, you know what? I don't know any of the characters. So let's see. Yeah, King, Jack, and Ace. Or King, Queen, and Jack are... I don't know any of these people. I just know the king is black. <laughs> like, I don't know these people. I know you guys probably know because you guys have probably read them. But I have no idea who these people are. Okay, so they're all different. So all the King, Queens, and Jacks of each uh, deck are different. That is cool. I don't know any of these people. Yeah, this is pretty. Ooh, she's stunning. Like, she's she's gorgeous. She's really pretty. I don't, again, I don't know these people. I'm keeping this deck. I am eventually gonna read these books. I'll be able to look back on this deck one day and be like, I totally know who these people are, but I love when they do fan art of books and like bring their characters to life. I'm also very excited that there were black people on that. I'm not even gonna front. So the next thing is this lanyard and it says, bravery hides in amazing places and it's got these um, little succulents on them. Again, no idea, no idea where this comes from. Like the succulents are kind of throwing me off if the succulents have something to do with the story. We're gonna find out obviously, but we're gonna set that off to the side and just go straight for the pin, which, <gasps> Oh, that's gorgeous. So obviously I know the book. Um, it's a retelling of Mulan, but told in like the fashion industry. So that I do know. But the freaking enamel pin is gorgeous. Let's get the camera to focus first. So the sun is kind of like blinding this one, but I don't think you guys can truly get how pretty this pin is. That's like a set of shears going into fabric. And then it's got glitter fabric going through it. Yeah, this pen is really, really pretty. Like, I don't remember the name of the book. I just know that it's a retelling of Mulan, but it's told in, like, the fashion world. So, on that note, let's... Is this a print? Oh, okay. It says, people see what they wish to see. And this is from the Night Circus. They do a lot of Night Circus um, in the owl crate box I've noticed and I've never actually read the night circus but yeah I do like that print we'll be saving that for planner purposes and then let's see Ooh. okay so first of all I don't think this is you guys aren't going to be able to see it so it's like a holographic card and it says grandmother said I will be a powerful witch doctor one day but I cannot wait that long Kingdom of Souls by Raina Barron. A captivating YA fantasy debut where magic has a price if you're willing to pay. And it's going to be on sale September 3rd, 2019. A, that's a black girl on the cover. B, it's going to be some type of dark magic style story. Three, witch doctor. I'm in. I'm going to just go ahead and add this to my TBR. I don't even know what it is. It's the coolest little ad card. Like, I can't show you guys because the sun won't really let you see it, but I don't know. That is dope. She looks, she's a straight baddie in this one too. But, all right, let's see what this book is. Okay, so the book is called Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. So I actually like Elizabeth Lim. Um, she's the one who wrote, ironically, She's the one who wrote Reflection in the Twisted Tales series, the one where she goes to the underworld. So maybe she's got like a huge obsession with Mulan. Not really, not mad about it. Uh, ooh, 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 drop stuff. Okay, so the first thing is, it's this moon, it's a moon shaped picture, but it's got like Mulan and it says, I'm tired of being told I'm not worthy. So we're gonna save that. And then it's got her art card. 
which is the same as the cover. It's got the letter from the author. And so, let's see. Ooh, it's got yellow. Is there anything on the front? Nope, it's just got like a, a embossed moon on it. Let's see. It says, this is the book one of the Blood of Stars duology. It says, a gifted tailor in disguise, three legendary dresses, the competition of a lifetime. In the fringes of the Great Spice Road, Maya Tamarin works as a seamstress in the shop of her father, once a tailor of renown. She dreams of becoming the greatest tailor in the land, but as a girl, the best she can hope for is to marry well. When a royal messenger summons her ailing father to court, Mia poses as her son and travels to the summer palace in his place. She knows her life is forfeit if her secret is discovered, but she'll take that risk to save her family from ruin and achieve her dream of becoming the imperial tailor. There's just one catch. Mia is one of 12 tailors vying for the job. The competition is cutthroat. So this is actually like Mulan meets Project Runway meets... No, no. Mulan meets Project Runway. That's what we're getting at. Yeah. I don't know. I heard about this book. And the only reason I heard about it is, again, I've read a couple of Elizabeth Lim's books. I love her storytelling ability. So for that reason, I mean, and the fact that I actually now own the book, I'm going to give this book a try. But I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Also, it's a duology. So again, that's also very intriguing because Mulan's story is not. So it's like, okay, Elizabeth, you got me asking questions. So let's look at the spoiler card. So, first, we need to look at the cover difference. So, the only difference in the cover, it looks like, is that the picture, it looks like the picture is sharper and it's got gold, I guess. Yeah, it's switching the title front from silver to gold. Not much of a change, but, oh, and it gave us a gold spine, so... Let's see. I need to know what the heck this puzzle was. Okay, so the the lanyard is from... It's inspired by the selection and designed by Four Seasons Fox. Um, I don't know what that is. If anybody has read that, let me know down below. So then, uh, obviously, the Hunger Games coin purse. It's a 300-piece jigsaw puzzle. Holly Dunn Design illustrated the puzzle and she hid many fun details, fun little details from the night circus throughout the imagery. Use the accompanying art print to help you on your quest to complete it. Oh, so this is what the puzzle looks like. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Cause I was like, how am I supposed to put this puzzle together if I've never seen a picture? Okay, so the puzzle is from is inspired by the Night Circus. The cards were from A Gathering of Shadows. The mug was from Harry Potter. Uh, then Spin the Dawn. Dustin Pages did the enamel pen. Okay, cool. So next, the theme for next month is Storms and Seas. So it's going to be... No, that's August. So September, I think, is it August? We'll see. Let's see what the clue is. Um, every August box will include an exclusive item from Riddle's Tea Shop. Yay, tea, not coffee. I'm down with that. Where is the spoiler? Oh, because this thing gives you more information than this little card. So it says, batten down the hatches. There's a storm raging even closer. Our August box is a must is one of the most unique things we've ever done. Our pick is a gorgeous fairy tale retelling set on an island. The, dis the depictions of the sea and the rainy climate makes the atmosphere feel like one of the main characters. The story is filled with family, magic, romance, and ghosts. This book was unlike anything we've ever had read before and we haven't been able to stop thinking about it. We'll be including a beautiful exclusive edition which is signed by the author. You can also expect it to find stunning items inspired by the Little Mermaid, obviously. The Scorpio Races and Daughter of the Pirate King, Sea Witch, and more, including some super cool items we've never included before. We're also excited to share that each box will include an exclusive delicious item from Riddle's Tea Shop. Perfect for getting cozy on a rainy night. Okay, so, I don't, I, at first I thought it was Sea Witch Rising, 
which is the sequel to Sea Witch by I think Sarah Henning from last year. But I don't think that comes out until September. Plus, they're featuring items from Sea Witch, so I don't think they would do that. But okay, so that was the July unboxing. What did you guys think about it? Did you like anything about it? Let me know down below. As usual, there is a link that you can click on in the description box. It takes you to Outcrate and it gets me points so I can get a free box at some point. Because though I love doing these boxes with you guys and I love getting a free book every month, I might have to stop at some point and take a break. So eh, we'll see. I might actually go back to Geek Gear too. I've been thinking about it. But let me get, <laughs> let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next time, guys. Bye.